And now we want you to meet an American soldier in a fight he never expected. An investigation into his case is underway tonight because he's not only one of the best, he's a candidate for special forces, but he may have to leave. Why? Here is his story. This is Army Specialist Zachary Klawan. His friends say he is smart, brave, dedicated, the kind of soldier they aspire to be. I had first seen him, I was like, oh, a Muslim, you know? What? Pretty much like, what are they doing? Like, what are they doing here? I really do think he is the best soldier in our battalion, hands down. The best soldier has a Moroccan mother. He's Muslim, he speaks Arabic. His father was from Kansas and was in the Air Force, but died when Zachary was 15. Since I could remember, absolutely, you know, since a young guy, there was really no question about it. I was, uh, I was excited to, uh, you know, I guess, defend America, uh, do that, uh, you know, that, I, we call it hua hua stuff, you no know, exciting stuff, you know, very honorable and admirable. He arrived at basic training in Oklahoma. The drill sergeant singled him out, made fun of Islam in front of 400 recruits. Called me out of formation, took me to the front, and, you know, was basically making a mockery of it. Next, a training exercise in the field. He singled out again. I was picked out of our entire group to play the tenemis, the, uh, the terrorist. They wrapped some cloth around his head, and we got to put him down, you know, have guns drawn on him. And it didn't stop there when he arrived at Fort Hood, Texas. I think it was the third week I was at Fort Hood. I noticed from a distance underneath my windshield here that there was a letter there. And I took the letter out and I read it. And uh, it said, uh, hey, carpet jockey, go back where you come from. I've heard her like a few Osama bin Laden jokes, you know, like, um, like where's your dad at? You know, um, referring to Osama bin Laden. And, you know, Saddam Hussein and all. A raghead, uh, sand monkey, carpet jockey, uh, Zachary bin Laden. And again, not just recruits, his sergeant. One of my first sergeants, you know, he asked me loudly in front of me, he's like, you know, you're not part of any terrorist organization or anything. And I'm like, yeah, are you kidding me? After November 5, 2009, when Major Nadal Hassan, a Muslim, opened fire, killing 13 at Fort Hood, even though Zachary didn't even know Hassan. It was around 2 a.m. in the morning, and I was uh, woken up by a uh, you know, loud beating. And a note falls that was uh, wedged in the door. A note falls to the ground, and I pick it up and I read it. Excuse my language, but it said, uh, f raghead, burn in hell. Kluan reported the incident to his commanders, whose answer was to ask him to move off base for his safety. So as of tonight, this model soldier, the kind who loved getting up at four in the morning to get ready for the day, is debating whether he can stay. You know, I'm not asking for a handout. I'm not asking for a, any special, uh, any special uh, treatment. I'm asking for the, you know, just the bare, the bare uh, essentials and the, in, in the, uh, the due rights that the rest of the soldiers have ready to fight for his country, but wounded by prejudice at home. And after his story first ran in the Washington Post, one soldier, a stranger, wrote him and said, I'd be proud to share a foxhole with you. And by the way, senior army leaders told us they wouldn't comment on this because of the investigation, though press officers said army officials who know about his story applaud his candor.